Hello everybody, happy Friday. I hope you're having a good Friday. We are having a great time here at the in the gym at the Community Church of Mount Pleasant. And uh, we try to let you visit a little bit around our campus and, and uh, here we are in the gym. I'll talk about that in a minute, but man, we have church this Sunday. If you, if you can get here, I want you to get here. We'll be finishing up our two-part series on missions. And uh, I want you to come this Sunday if you can. And, and uh, we got some fun things that I think you'll enjoy. And then uh, one of the things coming up in our church, a lot of things always, but February 23rd, I wanted to highlight this for you. We're going to have a movie night right here in our auditorium, and we're going to see a movie that perhaps you're familiar with. Maybe you've heard of it. It's called Facing the Giants. It's a, it's a great, emotional, inspirational movie, and it's going to be a family movie. We'll have, a, we'll have popcorn and drinks, and we'll have a... Uh, concessions and and just bring the whole family and it's something that we're providing we're going to begin to do certain activities like that we did a night of laughter this will be something similar to that just something that our families can enjoy and you can bring people with you but anyway I want to talk about um, we're in a, a two-part series on missions we talked last Sunday our missions team did an incredible job of presenting to you what does missions look like here at our church what is our uh, our, our plan, our strategy, because Jesus said, I want you to go into all the world. I want you to reach everyone with the gospel of Jesus Christ. Make disciples, followers of Christ. And so we really have a plan. We have a strategy. But, you know, I want you to know that it starts right here on this campus, in this place. So I'm, I'm here in the gym today. Um, you know, we have two gyms here. We have a football field and a big old softball field, a multiple purpose field right here on our campus. I wish you could be here in the evenings here on this campus. We have volleyball two nights a week, which we will have uh, Tuesday and Thursdays. We have volleyball here. It's AAU Volleyball Club. Lots and lots of kids here. Uh, we are able to minister to these students and, and coach them and give them Jesus. And uh, this place is loud and wide open. Maybe sometime you can come and watch. We have basketball going here uh, Monday nights. We have all day Saturdays with the league. We have indoor soccer. There's a lot of things going on here. And I just want you to know, we, we have a group from our church this week in Nicaragua doing ministry. I, I want you to know that, that we're all about that. We're going to continue to go around the world. But you know what? What's going on at night in this place, in this gym, this week, tonight, right now, is just as much missions as the people in Nicaragua, the people anywhere. This is just as much missions because we're offering a place that kids and students and, and adults can come and coach and play and compete and have a good, safe, quality place to do sports and hear about Jesus. And that, that's, I want you to know, it's, it's not just a sport. It's not just a game. This is a tool. This is not just a ball. This, this has, is a leather ball with air in it, which provides an open door, a way that we can share the gospel of Jesus Christ with people that might not come to church to hear about Jesus, but they're going to come in the gym and they're going to play basketball and volleyball and soccer, and, and they're going to listen and their mind will be open to hearing about Jesus. Just like Monday night, we have a, a bunch of grown men that come in here and play basketball. And then we'll sit down and we'll have devotions right here. We'll tell them about Jesus. We'll present the gospel. And, and many of them will follow Christ. Uh, we had two people out at one of our groups that came to Christ on Sunday night. So lives are being changed. And I want you to know that missions is not just something that happens in Africa. It, it happens right here. It happens across the street in our community center. We have wrestling. It happens six miles from here, Wings of Eagles Ranch. And so I, I really want to kind of close this thought out for these two weeks. And I want to let you know that uh, God has called us. God has called us to go. And, and uh, I don't know what that looks like to you. It may not look like to you to, to go to uh, Nicaragua or, or South Africa or Romania. It may. You know, I, I had some people Sunday talk, but, you know, I think God might want me to go to Romania and help the Zemers out over there. That may be what it looks like to you, but it may not be. It may look like coming to the gym and helping us with basketball or volleyball or soccer or concessions or, or it, it, it may look like helping volunteer at Wings of Eagles or Gate Pregnancy. I don't know what that looks like to you, but I do know this. Just say yes. Just find you a place. 
Find you, you don't have to have a degree. You don't have to, to have a lot of training. Just say yes, and I will go help us present the gospel to people. Maybe it's through sports. I don't know what that looks like, but I'm going to tell you, there's a place here for you. Perhaps there's a life group. Perhaps there's a ministry team. There's, God don't want you to just sit and watch and cheer on everybody else. He wants you to be engaged, to participate, to be a part. God has a place for you. So, if you are able to come out, I hope you're here Sunday. I want you to come. If not, you watch us online. I want you to pray about it. Where does God want me to say yes? If not you, then who? Who's going to go? What are you waiting on, man? I don't. I don't mean to be, you know. I don't mean to be uh, uh, oppressive or anything. But I just want to ask you: What are you doing for the kingdom? That's going to last forever and ever. It's going to make a difference in the world. There's somebody out there that needs you. So uh, there's a place here for you. Uh, whatever it is you like to do, there's a place. God can use it. Don't have to do something you are uncomfortable with. You do something you're good at. God can use it to reach people with the gospel of Jesus Christ, with his love. So thank you for letting me visit. We love you. You you know what? Come by here tomorrow and watch these kids. There, this gym will be full from 8 to 4. There will be people in here playing ball. Come on out here and meet some people and be entertained. And you see all the things God is doing on this campus. I want you to know we love you. And we have a place here for you. Thank you for watching. God bless you.